Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So this is season 15, and this is war number five, and we're going up against Diggity Dorks. My boy, Dorky Diggity Dave's Alliance. Shout out to him, love him. All right, so as you can see, I'm going in here with Spider-Man, who I normally go in with, but I've got two that I don't normally bring. Corvus and Proxima. Well, AQ was down, so I was able to bring in my old war buddy, Corvus. And because they chose the defense tactic dodge, as you can see there, dodge two, I decided to go ahead and bring Proxima because Corvus was going to do my heavy lifting and I didn't want to have to deal with that evade. So, if you didn't know already, with Proxima, once I get the mission for the evade for Corvus, all right, you see that he evaded right there. So, at this point, I just need to knock him down. Boom. You see I've got True Strike up? That is Proxima. Now, from this point on, I no longer have to worry about any evades. Nobody's going to evade, with one exception, and we'll get to that. Uh, a little bit later but for the most part I don't have to deal with it now I still can't do this particular fight at least not easily uh, because it's psychic thorns and uh, I might be able to take it but it would have been very dangerous so uh, went ahead and allowed my alliant mate to go ahead and do it as usual uh, they come prepared and so we're on to section two. Now, of course, with Corvus, I'm like, yeah, my Corvus came to play, you know? And so we've got this guy here, and I already scouted out my path, so I knew that I could get a few missions. I knew I was going to be able to get the evade mission. Uh, I knew I was going to be able to get this mission here, which you get for uh, taking down an Avenger. And later on, I'll be able to get a mission from taking down a mutant all right now this is a great matchup for corvus normally when he has an armor up you don't want to parry him but corvus can parry him and you can see i'm just ripping him apart that was just nice smooth and easy it reminded me of the alliance wars back in the day uh, i had started out with hyperion as my main heavy lifter and when i pulled corvus it was awesome. Now, this fight, I can sometimes get caught. She is very aggressive in her fighting style, like Venom. And so you have to be really careful. And when I'm trying to bait out her special, I can get caught. All right, so I decided not to do a medium light medium. I'm just going in. I've got enough charges, so I'm doing a lot of damage. I'm running suicides. So he is hitting like a truck. I don't want to push to the special two because I don't know how to evade the special two yet. All right, and there we go. Easy to bait out and uh, evade that special one, at least that time. And boom, it's lights out. Corvus is still at 100% health. I love my Corvus. I would love to get a six star Corvus and this is why. Even though I have this Corvus at 565, SIG 200, I'd be using him, as I often do, in Alliance Quest. But if I got a 6-star, I would still take the 6-star uh, up to rank 2. All right, so now they've left me this fight here. Now, I was going to take this mini. Corvus could have done this fight, uh, but it wasn't cleared, and I had to go to bed. And when I woke up, they had already taken him down. So I said, all right, I don't have to worry about that pesky evade because I've got true strike up. So, you know, she's a small defender. You'll notice that they have a lot of small defenders here. Uh, it goes very well with the defense tactic. And that's what you want to do. You want to match up your defenders to the defense tactic if you want it to be a little more effective. So great job there. But with True Strike, I'm thinking, all right, I got this. 
Now I'm boosting up. You'll notice that I have a few more than what the capacity is. That's because I used to have the sigil. I don't have it currently. And that's what they do. They don't uh, remove it and throw it into your overflow. It stays right there. Um, but I may as well use it. Now, the reason that I use this 12% cosmic is because right at that point, it was in the store. So I went ahead and bought one. Um, I could actually have bought a bunch of them. Uh, but I bought, I think, one or two and then went ahead and used it because eventually I know I'm going to end up using them. I don't use uh, these boosts in Alliance Quest. Uh, but may as well go ahead and use it in Alliance War. All right. So we are ready to take on this Spider Gwen. Finally. So. I go into this fight full of confidence. I also boost it up because I know that I'm going to continue on. I'm not going to just fight her. I'm going straight to the boss. I want to clear a path right to the boss. All right. So I go in confident. All right. She's debuff immune. I don't care. And I'm just going in. I'm having fun. Right. And then look at that. An evade. And I was like, wait, wait, whoa, whoa. What's she evading like this for? What's going on? And then I was like, oh yeah, that's right. Spider Gwen is one of those that her evade bypasses the true strike. True strike, it will not stop her evade. And I was like, ooh, that was so close. Cause I had completely forgotten that. I learned that the hard way in Alliance Quest when I faced her there on the path, um, um, I forget what that path is called, uh, but it's the one where they get the extra evade. And I went in there, true strike up, and she almost wrecked me. So we didn't get wrecked this time, we got her down. So now we come to my favorite champion to fight. I hope you can smell that sarcasm, Domino. Uh, if you followed me for any length of time, Back in the day when we were focused on Alliance War, you'll know that I hate her. And she wrecked me one time on this node. And from that point on, I just wanted to get some payback. I didn't know how to fight her properly. The fight was close. But had I known how to fight her, I would have taken her out. And finally, just before they changed all of the nodes, I faced her again and lost again two dropped inputs. I was so ticked. That time I knew how to fight her. I fought her plenty of times. I should have been able to beat her, no problem. And the game got me. So when I see her, we have a little mixed emotions here. So you saw there, I didn't try to parry her. All right, take the blocked hits, I don't care. Lucky, don't care, see the evade fail. She's not gonna be evading me. I looked up, made sure that I wasn't unlucky, so I could evade that. And we're just going in. I'm like, yeah, payback for all of that. Look at him evades. You ain't evading. And go to sleep. That's right. Payback for all them times. Oh, boy, have I missed using Corvus in Alliance War. Let me tell you. So next up, we've got Stealth Spidey. Now, I don't like fighting him, but someone on my stream told me something I didn't realize about him because I haven't really learned him. I got him as a five star, but I haven't really looked into him. Um, but that he gets an evade, but he doesn't keep evading. He's not like classic Spider-Man. So after the first evade, you're okay until he gets, you know, some more spider sense or something like that. But you see here, evade failed, evade failed. Because of the defense tactic, he would have been evading like crazy. But thanks to my true strike, He's not going anywhere. And down goes Stealth Spidey. Corvus is a beast. So at the time of this recording, the war is not over yet. You can see there we've got another 12 plus hours, almost 13 hours to go. And so we're gonna have to come back and find out how we did in this war. At this point, we have a little bit of a lead, but the war is 
very, very close. So see you soon. All right, I am back and we've got less than 30 seconds left to find out how we did in this war. Uh, we were able to get all three bosses down, but unfortunately, I don't believe we were able to close the deal. It was a close fight throughout the war, but just towards the end, had some trouble. Um, so let's find out. All right, so war has ended. And let's find out officially. And it's a defeat, but we did get all three of the bosses down. So that's going to help us overall. Anyway, that's going to do it, guys. Thank you all for watching. Congratulations, diggity dorks. Good war. Well fought. Uh, take care. Click like, subscribe, leave a comment. Let me know what you thought about the video. And you all have a blessed day.